YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another shave video. Today, we're gonna be reviewing and I'll be showing you guys a very special one that I think so far might be my favorite soap that I have in my collection. Today, we're gonna be looking at Barrister and Man's Nordist. Y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, today we're gonna to be wet shaving with Barrister and Man's Nordis. As you see here, I have the shave soap, which is it's this, uh, it's a take on a smoked orange. So the label reads actually, Nordis smoked orange made from the finest ingredients, a letter or a love letter to oranges. And this is a very good representation of orange. You know, sometimes, especially with being in shaving or now getting into wet shaving and being a, obviously an enthusiast of fragrances as well too, a lot of orange fragrances or a lot of citrus can be very artificial or kind of very cloying, but this just actually smells like natural oranges. It just, it's just a very, and the smokiness is there, but it's very, it's, it's not very heavy smoke. It's, it's definitely more citrus, more orange than it is smoke. I would say that this is probably a, a good medium, probably five and a half, maybe leaning towards a six. It gets very aromatic as you, as you get, begin making the lather. And also I have the post shave balm they offer it in a splash as well too but splashes especially like i was telling you guys on my problem area like around, on the top of my lips and around this area here it gets very it's prone to getting very dry so balms do a lot better for me than splashes especially in the colder months here so i probably will revisit some splashes maybe in april may june some july somewhere where it gets a little warmer but probably for the next couple of months i'm definitely all the soaps that i'll be getting i'll be uh trying to get bombs with them instead of the splashes so these were purchased from the razor company over in uh, michigan so shout out to the razor company as well the soap i believe was 19.99 and the bomb was 17.99 they do free shipping on any orders no matter how much you spend so without further ado we'll get for we'll get into the shave as you guys see i've already made my lather got a few hairs that have kind of went off in here but i'll show you guys show you guys what i got shout out to brandon over there brandon shaves again too he was, he was helping me out too trying to get like i was telling you guys in the first video i'm just trying to work on getting a better better lather going so he said, the more water, the better. And he said, some of these soaps that I'm using can take a lot of water. So I'm gonna take his word for it. And that's what I do. Now, I had, uh, I shaved a couple days ago and had a few nicks in the area again that I told you guys. So as you guys are watching shaving videos, you'll probably see me nick myself a couple of times in that area. It's an area I'm just gonna have to get better with learning how to shave. But uh, hopefully we won't, I'll try to take my time and go through it pretty easy today so hopefully we don't aggravate it um also today too i want to mention to you guys the obviously the razor that i'm using this is a very special treat this is a very special razor for me um it didn't take me long as most people know that anything that i'm involved in i'm, I'm usually 150 percent in it 200 percent or not at all so it didn't take me long to get into vintage razors as well too i'll be using today the canadian or this is a gillette canadian tech from 1954 and the date code on this one is Z4. So it was 19, the year was 1954, and it was in the fourth quarter is when this razor was made. And then also today, since the razor's pretty mild, I'm using Astra Greens. Those would be the blades that I'm using. So, got some pretty good lather going. I'm sure Brandon will let me know, like put more water, more water. So we'll see. But I already feel the difference in adding a lot of water that could, I've added already a lot more than I usually do. I'm trying to get this thing where it doesn't handle don't fall in there, so we'll see. All right, we'll get see get to shaving. I don't have a lot of growth on it today. It's only about a day's worth of growth for me. So I know some people get used to 
you're used to hearing the uh, feedback from when people have a lot of hair on their faces and the razor's cutting through it, so. But this razor feels very good. Some, I don't, I don't, actually to be honest, I don't think I even own really any uh, aggressive razors. You know, the terms that a lot of guys in the shaving community use is aggressive or the difference of being efficient and aggressive. I don't think I really own any aggressive razors per se, but I would say at least for me, I feel like they're efficient. I'm brush here. Them falling out. I got a, I got a couple of nice brushes that are coming in. I got some brushes from uh, Rich Man Shaving, some Walmart brushes and things like this. So I'm looking forward to those. This brush I'm using now is a uh, Vander Hagen. It's a real cheap brush. So. Very mild on the very mild razor, but I, I don't I don't mind it at all. And I feel like for me, these are probably gonna be very beneficial when I, uh, when it comes to shaving every day. Just not as, not as hard, not as harsh on you. Probably to give me a bigger water bottle too, we'll figure it out. Hopefully everybody is having a good day today and enjoyed the first video I put out, the first shaving video I put out that was using uh, Lothar's Calm. As I was telling you guys before too, I have some other soaps. I have some more soaps from Barrister and Man. I have some stuff from 345, Zingari Man coming in too. So I'll, I'll be updating you guys on some soaps. Trying not to really nick this area here. This is the area that I kind of had some problems with the uh, the other day. This is, as I was saying, this is a very very comfortable razor, and I think it just kind of bows to the craftsmanship and how well these things are built. That the uh, this razor is older than my parents and still cuts, you know, still cuts very well, so. Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna clean up, re-lather up. Go back for another pass, which will probably be across the grain. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned, and we'll come back with this next pass. All right, so you may have seen in this previous, pa uh, previous pass, like I was gonna do across the grain, but started on my neck going against the grain. And so I just went against the grain for the most part on my cheeks and stuff too. Still was hearing a lot of good residual uh, hair coming off. Still get, got quite a bit of hair off, which is nice about this razor too. Some of the razors I shave with when I go against the grain, especially in those areas, I could feel like, and maybe that might be because I don't have the lather slick enough and today is actually made, just made a lot better. But I feel like this razor is able to handle that a lot, uh, a lot better than the ones I've had. It's been a really nice shave, not getting any, uh, or and that I can see of at, the, at this moment. I don't really see any nicks, cuts, or like, I'm not a, uh, feeling any razor burn or anything. So the soap is very good. A lot of good residual slickness on this one. And again, I can't speak highly enough about the scent profile. 
you know, even in fragrances, sometimes I think we get so caught up in one, and even, you know, me being a cigar smoker, knowing that too, like sometimes we get so caught up in wanting things to be so complex and so, uh, so have so much stuff going on that you forget sometimes that there is beauty and simplicity too. And this is another example of just something being very simple, but being made very well. And I think this is, like I said, I have, I'm not, I don't have as many soaps as a lot of people do. And, uh, but I think as far as in my collection so far, which is probably spans about 10 soaps, this is probably my favorite. Favorite one I have so far. It's just a very nice smell. You know, I think I was talking to uh, Leatherhog. He was doing an Instagram live where he was doing a, he was doing his weekly shaves, and he was using this soap too. And I was like, you know, it, this soap, uh, Terre uh, d'Hermes, the Eau de Toilette, is one of my favorite scents ever. And um, when I smelled this scent and how it performs, it just like puts me in the mind, mindset of wanting to use that fragrance. So I will today. I don't have it down here with me, but. That'll be my fragrance of the day will be Terra Dermes. And it has a, a smoky orangeness to it too as well, but it introduces vetiver. So it has a more of an earthy kind of, uh, not dirt smell, but like just more earthy, a more earthy profile to it than this does. This one's definitely more like citrus heavy where the Terra Dermes is mostly earthiness where the, and the orange is like just com uh, complimenting it in the background, but it's still very nicely executed and I think they're gonna make a banger of a pairing. So this last pass is just kind of a hybrid pass. I'm gonna do a little bit of touching up too. Once I clean my face off all the way, I'll look in the mirror, make sure I got all the areas as uh, best as possible. Like I said, for me, I'm not really just typically going for BBS shaves. Um, I'm just trying to get as close as possible. Skin is pretty good though. I get pretty close down, but you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do more than like two or three passes typically, like I said, unless I'm doing some kind of touching up so. It's the one area I'm trying to be really careful in. So far I've been lucky I haven't haven't nicked anywhere over here, so and these Astra blades are really nice too. I would say these are probably my second favorite blades I've used so far behind the feathers. The, these Astros are really nice too. I also like the Gillette Platinums, like I said before. The only ones that I haven't liked have been the Dorco blades. And I've hear, I hear they have other variations of the Dorco blade that people like. So who knows, I may have to uh, check those out. I just know the standard ones that I was using, I used them twice. And I really didn't, they really didn't yield good results for me either time. So, you know, I usually always get something, at least a couple of tries before I just go ahead and cancel it. But at least so far, I just don't see a, a reason for me to revisit when I have other blades that are just not only cutting better, but perform better on my skin personally, so. All right, I'm gonna get cleaned up here, wash off my face, come back, do a little bit of touching up and uh, put this post shave balm on too. I think I might use me an ice cube today too. Like I learned that trick from Evil Niffy about the ice cube post shave. So it's supposed to be good to help close your pores. I don't have any cuts or anything like that, but I did use it once before when I first started, when I first started watching these videos. And it did feel good. It's kind of a real shock at first for the first couple seconds, just because of how cold it is. But after that, it feel good, felt good. So I'll, uh, I'll clean up, come back, do a little bit of buffering or, or cleaning up and uh, we'll talk about post shave. So y'all hang tight. End of the shave, time for some post-shave post balm. Still getting, still getting soap and stuff off of me, but yeah, this is the Barrister and Man Nordis. Very big fan of this. This scent's very good. Very good feel on this one as well, too. Post-shave feels really good. Ice Cube felt good. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. I didn't, didn't nick anywhere in the problem area. I did catch myself once on the, uh, on the, on the right on my uh, neck, lower neck area. But other than that, did pretty good. 
It smells lovely too. This almost kind of reminds me like of an orange pound cake, man. This is really good scent to it. I think this is another one that I think you could use year round. Just like Terre de Mer, signature scent worthy. You could wear that whenever, whatever. It's a do all fragrance. I feel like if you didn't, want, if you don't want to own a whole lot of artisan soaps, like you got to get your hands on this. This is something you could use every day. Not offensive. I don't think too many people are not gonna like this smell. Quite honestly. But uh, yeah. Big shout out to the Razor Company again, where I picked up the Nordis from. Also, the Gillette Canadian Tech from 1954, a very good razor, very mild. If you're just getting into wet shaving, that's definitely a razor you will want to consider. All the vintages too, the Fat Boys, the uh, the Ballpoint Techs, all those razors like that, those are things that, that you probably would be interested in and they don't cost an arm and a leg to have either. The Astra Superior Platinum bra uh, Blades are very good as well too, some of my favorites. Still think I prefer the Feathers, but these are really nice too like these blades not too sharp they have a nice balance between being sharp enough and being smooth enough too so with that being said man we're going to get out of here thank you guys for tuning in to this wet shave i'll catch you on the next one y'all know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment and don't forget to be driven never motivated y'all be good